Hey yo, it's your boy Chips Ahoy, back again with another video. I'm gonna be doing another updated video on Windows optimizations. Uh, I enlisted all the other ones as a lot of uh, stuff has been updated since. And before we get into anything, please do your own research on stuff that you don't think is uh, trustworthy or that you think might be a little weird. Um, everything that is shown in this video is going to be trusted and to work to a certain extent, of course. Everybody's PC is different. Um, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns regarding anything uh, that is shown in this video, Feel free to leave a comment about it or contact me via Discord. Um, this is going to be everything that I can uh, personally recommend um, that you guys do. It should work for everybody's PC, no matter if it's high end or low end. Um, now, there's definitely a lot more that I could have gone through, but I'm trying to keep it more basic so it doesn't get all confusing. If I find anything that I want to add or remove to this, I would make another video um, then. Or if somebody um, gives me a recommendation for something and I look into it and I say, hey, I'm going to add that to it, then I'll make a video on it. I um, also want to announce that I have a release a Discord server along with a good friend of mine uh, for piece optimizations and tips, as long as some other stuff like um, OBS settings and uh, video rendering settings for Vegas and um, other stuff to come. I'll leave the link to the Discord in the description if you'd like to join it. I also will uh, have linked the GitHub wiki that I uh, made for this uh, tutorial. Um, in the description. It will be getting updated when needed as well. And if you ever get lost, everything is really listed on there, or if you just want to read through it in general, you know, then you shouldn't really get, be getting lost. If you need any, anything on that wiki, please let me know, and I'll edit it, make it more clear, or add whatever, or remove whatever. But yeah, with all that being said, let's get right into the video. So, first thing that you guys are going to want to do is download, um, this right here, the zip, it basically has um, some of the stuff that I'm going to be using in this video and I'll be explaining it more as we go along as well. So just put it in your downloads or put it on your desktop so you don't uh, forget about it. Uh, go to wherever it is and unzip it so you don't got to do that later. So got it right here. You can keep it open. You can just minimize it for right now. And yeah, now. Before we even begin, I suggest that you create a restore point. So if something goes wrong for whatever reason, then you can just go right back and then you won't have an issue. So find wherever your main drive is, go to your search bar, type in restore, and then it should say create a restore point. You click on it, go to your main drive, click create, uh, type in whatever you want it to be, just say like like working or something like that, like work, working or whatever, right? Click create and then I'll let it uh, create the restore point. It might take a bit. Okay, now it's done. You can close this. Don't need this anymore. Um, next, we're going to be going to your settings, so either go into your search bar and type in settings and just go to settings. Go to update windows and then check for updates. If there's any updates, you should download it and whatnot. If you have any issues updating your windows at any point in time, go to the fixes folder and there will be a corrupt.bat file. Make sure you're running this as administrator. Um, this basically, um, if anything is wrong with windows, it will fix it for you. Um, you can read what it. Uh, you can read the commands if you think it's um, you know sketchy or whatever. You can look up these commands as well on on Google and see if they are uh, trusted or whatnot. But they are. And then whenever that's done, if it says when you're doing the corruption scan to restart your PC because I found something, do so. And if Windows found that there was an update and it asks you to restart your PC, then do so as well. Next, we're going to be going to uh, Power Plan. So type in either Power, if I edit Power Plan, or type Edit Power Plan. Um, if you're on a laptop, I wouldn't recommend putting it on high performance as it can degrade your uh, laptop's battery. But if you don't really care about that, just put it on high performance. And if you're not, again, if you're on a laptop, just keep it on balance as recommended. Next, we're going to be... Um, Disabling some startup apps. 
So go to your task manager, you can right click on your uh, taskbar and uh, click on task manager or you can go in your search and then just type task and then you'll have task manager right here. Go to startup apps on the left side here and just disable anything that you don't want to be started on, on startup. Um, main things that I have that are actually starting up are just general stuff like anything with your audio interfaces. Let's say you have voice meter and you want it to start up, just keep it enabled or anything in um, in particular that's specific that you want to be started up, like my screenshot um, app or Discord, you know. But yeah, this can help for um, startup times on your PC and if there's just random stuff that's in the background running too, it might help with some performance related stuff as well. Now, if you want to get more um, in depth about this, you can download this thing by Microsoft called Auto Runs. Um, again, so be linked in the description. It'll be on the wiki. Once There's also a video that you can just watch instead. Um, so I'm not going to be going through it, but I will be showing you what the program looks like nonetheless and what I suggest that you guys are to disable if you are to use this. So I'm going to be going to the website. You're going to be downloading it. Download auto runs. Put it wherever you want to. I'm just going to leave my downloads folder. This is easy to get to. I'm going to open it. I'm going to extract it. Um, extract all. Extract it to right to this uh, location and then I'm gonna run the auto runs.exe now drag it over here okay so give it a second while it scans for the stuff um, and then once it's once it's done it should look like this like random stuff like this um, basically what I do is for instance um, Microsoft Edge, I don't really want anything to be in the background. I'm just going to disable that, for example. Um, if there's something in here that it says, like, file does not exist, uh, you can disable it. It shouldn't be an issue. Anything with update services, like Microsoft right here for Google Chrome, I'm going to um, disable because I don't want that to be running automatically in the background. Um, if it says a prompt when you click on something, it means that to be elevated permissions in admin mode. Um, so I'm going to disable that because I don't want that running. Same thing with Brave Installer too. Uh, you could do manual um, updates on your browser as well in settings, so it's not a big deal. Or if you um, want to re-enable this, all you got to do is just go back into here and do the same thing. Just check it back again. Uh, and uh, yeah, but again, the video that I linked in the description goes more in depth into it. So that this is what I kind of recommend that you do. Um, if you don't know what something is, don't touch it. It's a general rule if I might tell anybody. If you don't know what it is, just don't touch it. Now, next. We're going to be uh, making sure game mode is turned on. So, go to your search bar, type in game uh, mode. You should say game mode settings. Make sure it's enabled. This can uh, optimize, as it says, optimize your PC to play. Uh, by turning things off in the background. That uh, just helps in general for performance. It might give you a couple extra FPS. Sometimes it doesn't. Depends on your PC, really. If you don't notice a big difference, just keep it on. It might be giving you a couple extra FPS. Who knows? Now, for the main part of this, the actual optimization part, optimization script, um, it is Chris Atitis's Win Util. Um, you can look up if this guy is trusted. It is. He's well known in the community for this. Um, here's the GitHub repository. Also, we have a link in the description. But what you would do is um, copy this command. It's also on the wiki, so you can just copy it. Um, so, copy it. Go into your Windows search thing again. Type in PowerShell. Uh, make sure this is run as administrator. Now, you would be pasting this in there and then pressing enter. Now, go to tweaks. If you're on desktop, press desktop. If you're on laptop, press laptop. But what I would suggest to do then, so desktop, um, disable uh, Cherido or whatever it's called. Um, and you can do delete temporary files if you want to, but I'm going to be showing you other ways to create temporary files as well. Um, disable mouse acceleration. Again, I'll be having more um, 
stuff about mouse uh, tweaks as well later down into the video. Um, that I'm going to disable. Basically, you can copy what I have here um, if you want to. Also, you can hover over it and I'll tell you what it does too. So, again, everything is pretty much documented to the point where you can just kind of read it. If you want to enable it, disable it, do that. Um, I want to touch anything in here unless you know what you are doing. Uh, if you want to set classic right click menu, because Windows 11 changed the right click menu and it's kind of bad in my opinion. So, because I got the Windows uh, 10 right click menu. And what you'll be doing is just pressing run tweaks. And then once it is done, you can click into the window right here. And I'll just do it for the video's sake. I'll press run. It's going to look like something like this. So once it's done, it'll say, as this screenshot that is showing right here, it'll say tweaks are finished. As it says right here, tweaks are finished. And then just close that when you're done. If it changes in your uh, search thing and you don't want it to be like that, just right click on your uh, thing or type in to your search bar um, task bar settings and then you get to here and then I turn mine to hide because I don't like it on because I just press my windows key to search. Okay, next we are going to be cleaning temporary files. If you haven't done this in a while this also can give you like just a lot more storage. Um, again, my fixes folder that you downloaded, or click on temporary files or temp clean and run as admin. And then once it's ran as admin, just press enter, press enter again, you're done. Um, another thing you can do is go into your search bar, type in temp, delete temporary files should come up. Click on temporary files. Let it scan for a minute. Once it is done scanning, click on everything except for downloads. Um, if you do downloads, that means everything that is in your downloads folder will be deleted. So be warned. Then just click on remove files and click continue. And then once it is done, just exit it. Now, another thing you can use is something called bleach bit. Again, link will be linked in the description as on the wiki. You'd be clicking on Windows, and then it'd be doing installer.exe. Download like you do any ordinary program. I'm not going to do next. I already have it installed. I will be opening it. It should come up with a command prompt for running it as admin. Just click yes. One of the things I really recommend you to click on in here is anything with cache. If you have an old browser in here, you can click on everything because you're probably not going to use our browser ever again. Same Microsoft Edge, I don't use it. There's Internet Explorer. Um, I like to do everything in here actually. Um, Opera, I don't use Opera anymore, I don't have it on my computer anymore. System, uh, you can do logs, you can do uh, memory dump, there's another cache thing, you can do prefetch, recycling bin, so everything that's in your recycling bin if you haven't deleted it already. And then uh, temporary files right there as well. Uh, Windows Defender, you can do temporary files and logs. Um, Windows Explorer, you can do search history, and then if you have um, RINRAR, you can just do temporary files. And uh, anything else that you might have in here, just do cache, like Discord, I like to have cache. Now for this to work, you have to have these programs closed. So for instance, I'll do my Discord. I'm gonna close my Discord, and then I'm gonna press clean. And then just click on delete. Now this might take a while, depending, of course, how much stuff it has to delete. It also shows on the bottom, right here and right here, how much it's actually deleted. It's gonna say for me, cause I got my Brave opened at Brave, uh, uh, cannot be cleaned, you know, because it's uh, currently running. And it'll say that by anything that's running. So if you want something to be clean and it's running, just close it, then you know what it is. But once you're done with that, you can just close it. Don't need it anymore. Um, I'm gonna be linking the videos to how to freshly install your GPU drivers, settings for NVIDIA graphics cards and settings also for AMD graphics cards. If you want more updated videos on any of these, just let me know. Um, some of these are a little bit old, like um, the NVIDIA one, but it gets the uh, the point across. Also, it's way more organized as well. So I'm not going to be doing it because I'm not going to be going to safe mode and all the other stuff that they show in the video because I would take too long and I don't have a display. I don't have a, a thing that I'm able to actually record into my safe mode and BIOS.
How's it going, everyone? It is. Okay. Now we're going to be going on to mouse tweaks. If you are a hardcore gamer or just play games in general, I suggest to do these settings. So go into your search, type mouse setting, uh, mouse, just type mouse. I should say change the mouse pointer display and speed or, or speed. Uh, click on pointer options. Uh, you, if you've already turned off enhanced pointer position, it's going to be off from when we used win util. And then I suggest to put your uh, select a pointer speed to six, so to six knots. So you can use your um, arrow keys then. So the first one is is counted as one, so it's one, two, three, four, five, six. Should be on six. I watched a video ages ago by some pro said that this is the best uh, settings that you can use. Okay, and if you don't like the setting, you can always revert it. No harm in that. Now, next. If your mouse has drivers, like mine does, I have a Logitech mouse right now, open it up or download it via their website. Um, look on Google, again, watch videos on YouTube as well if you don't know about that stuff. Um, turn off any lighting effects. Um, I have a video linked in the description that talks about why this gives your mouse latency. This also goes for your keyboard as well. Um, but besides that, you should have it on the highest pulling rate as it can make your mouse feel way more smooth while playing games. It is noticeable to an extent. Um, I just recommend that you do it in general. And then I wouldn't recommend you to go anywhere lower than 800 DPI. You can look up a video um, if DPI matters, basically like in games or whatnot. Um, it does. Um, I'm not going to get into it because I'm going to be blabbering on. And again, I'm going to just be as short as it possibly can be. As I said for your keyboard, if your keyboard has software, as mine does, make sure your pulling rate is at the highest that it can be. Mine is a thousand pulling rate, and I already have a set. Again, you can look up videos on this, or if it's simple enough in your mouse or keyboard's um, uh, panel for software, or you can just disable it on your keyboard like I can with hotkeys, then do that. Now we're going to be doing some sound settings. Um, go into your search bar and do a sound. It should be change system sounds. Go to playback. So whatever your playback is, minus my speakers from my headphones. Uh, go to advanced and just make sure it's on 4800. Um, and for any, like, you'll see you have like a, a, a interface for your audio. Just make sure everything's on the same thing, basically. It can fix with like weird distorting stuff or your audio sounding odd, like not like it's supposed to be. This will also go for your microphone as well for advanced. Just mine goes up to 4,800. I think you should really only be going up to that high anyway, even if you can go higher. And since I have voice meter, I do the same thing for that with advanced. Another thing is for your playback, let's go back to your speakers. If you have any um effects it says like enhanced effects or whatever disable them somebody said in some video i found that it can reduce latency i'm not 100 percent sure on this so do your own research on this one but i don't have any so i don't have to worry about that now we're going to be doing some internet tweaks um go to control panel by searching control panel in your search bar Go to network and internet. What a network and sharing center. I would recommend everybody to use ethernet if you can. And these are gonna be specific for ethernet settings. Go to properties. <clears throat> Disable everything unless something deals with like a VPN or whatnot, except for these three that I have selected. Client for Microsoft networking or networks. Um, NPCAP packet driver. And then internet protocol version four. Now you're gonna be clicking on Internet Protocol version four. Gonna be pressing Properties. And then we're gonna be setting a DNS setting. Now, to find your best DNS, uh, go to this link that I'm gonna have linked, of course. I'm gonna be downloading it. Um, it basically runs a benchmark for what is the best um, DNS near you. Uh, here's a download button right here. Press save, and then run it. I'm not gonna run it because it's gonna take forever. But 
we go into name servers, let's scan, and then you're going to be pressing this button right here that says run benchmark. Um, when it's, once it's done, it should say like some prompt or whatever. So basically whatever the top thing up here is, um, is the one that you should be using. Mine would be, uh, I can't remember what it was. Let's say I want to use Clover, for example. It'll be up on top. This is your local network. This is not a DNS resolver. So do not use this up top. The one that says non, non route of our local internet address. It would be um, something completely different. Like 1111, whatever. Again, you can do your own research for um, DNS is near to, or do something simple like go to CMD and just open it and then type ping and then let's say Cloudflare 1.1.1.1. One, 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 one. If your ping is low like this, it says 25 for me, 22, whatever, you know. And then you basically just repeat this for other ones too. So whatever the lowest um, one is, is the one that you should use. Okay, now for actual, um, basically what we'll be doing is doing, use the following, and then I say it's for me, one, 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 and then secondary is 1.0.0.1, and then just press okay. I'm not gonna do that because I got mine set in my router's settings. And now you're gonna be going back to the internet protocol version four, I'm gonna press on config, yes. Advanced, copy these settings. If your settings are different, um, either skip it or find a video regarding this. Again, do your own research on this one. Um, so we're going to basically be saving anything that says power, power efficiency, E, E, and yeah, basically just that. Um, first of all, we're going to go into, going into power management and we're going to be disabling everything. And we're going to go back to advanced. Advanced E, E, E should be disabled. ARP outflow should be disabled. Energy efficient ethernet should be disabled. Flow control should be disabled. Gigabit light should be disabled. Green ethernet should be disabled. Internet moderation, I found a video, this should be enabled. And if you have a setting that says, um, let's see here. If there is a setting that says interrupt, interrupt moderation rate, should be setting it to medium. So interrupt moderation should be enabled, and then the rate should be on medium. Um, we can skip all of these. We're going out to power, save mode, disable that. Any, anything with offload should be disabled. And offload should be all disabled, offload should be all disabled. A magic package should be disabled. Uh, awake on something match again should be disabled and yeah that's about it press ok when you're done with this uh, your internet might refresh so be warned on that I'm gonna have more videos linked on this of where I've got them from so here hey guys before this guy is great on this stuff I watch his videos all the time and they seem to work very well Last but not least, you're gonna be going to your command prompt. You're gonna press CMD, gonna open it again, and then just type ipconfig backslash flush DNS. Now, seeing as we're done with this, um, we've got some side notes. I already told you about the corruption thing. Um, if your internet ever has issues, again, I got a fix in here for that. You can just uh, reset it basically. Again, you can look through it, and if something doesn't seem right, then you know, just don't run it. But this is safe. I used it, and it works. Um, and it just basically just resets your uh, driver, and then uh, when you uh, reset your PC, it should be basically all flushed and reset. So any internet settings that you've done, you're gonna have to redo them. So just go back in the video and I don't know, redo them, or look at the again the wiki and just redo them. And then just reset your PC, and you should be all set. And uh, yeah. So with that being said, hope you all have a great and amazing day. And until the next one, adios.